Hey guys, it's me, Zombly, and I'm back with another episode of Iltu Sturmovic Cliffs of Dover. So as you can see, I installed the uh, Team Fusion mod, and I noticed something kind of strange. On vanilla uh, Cliffs of Dover here, I had the Dynamic Florist Campaign mod installed. When you install the Team Fusion mods, it creates a backup of your original folder, and then it makes pretty much all new uh, Cliffs of Dover uh, root directories and whatnot. And I noticed this one called Team Fusion Campaign, so the Enlightened Florist Campaign isn't here, but if we click on it, I have Continue, which I'm not going to do because I'm pretty sure at this point it's probably broken. However, this window looks very familiar, so I think what the Team Fusion mod has done is they took and they completely integrated the Enlightened Florist Campaign in there, which I think is really cool. So anyway, um... What I'm going to do is, because I installed a new mod and everything else, and I don't want to break anything just in case, instead of continuing from my old one, I'll just go ahead and create a new one one day after the one we created in the last video. So uh, that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and do East. We'll go New. And we'll start on the, I think it was the 21st of June, 1940. And our campaign will end on the 30th of October if we're lucky enough to survive that long. I don't think we will be. I'm gonna go back to the 610 and Little Stone. So everything's essentially just going to be exactly what it was before uh, I installed the mod. There we go. <laughs> Commentary fail. So anyway, I think I did a 50 in the minimum did a max 75, I suppose. Um, this, I'm going to leave at about a 5, and then we'll turn this up to 9. Because I think putting the AI skill to 2, I think, would give me more of those drones. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and continue now. And it's going to load up some stuff. And uh, as it loads and processes, I'll go ahead and cut this, and then we'll get going with our campaign again. All right, and we loaded in, and uh, it looks like our mission for today is to patrol Sector Bravo 4 at an altitude of 1,423 meters. We are to shoot down any enemy aircraft that we see. Um, so just imagine one there, and then one there, <laughs> and we'll be okay. Actually, that victory probably wouldn't have counted anyway. Uh, I don't even want to count it, because that guy really did nothing to evade me. Uh, before we jump into the mission, though, um, I'm going to accidentally right-click instead of left-click, because I'm apparently used to Arma at this point. Um, is there a zoom level? Here's the zoom. That's what I was looking for. So we're basically going to be flying right along the coastline near New Romney. <laughs> hey, I knew a guy named Romney. He, he wasn't that bad of a guy either. Hey, he, uh, he liked tacos. Anyway, um, that was my, uh, <laughs> that was my George Bush impersonation. It was terrible. Um, so, <laughs> so apparently we're going to be flying around Dimechurch and New Romney. But before we get that far in, I'm going to go play our plane. We're going to take a look at some stuff. Uh, the Spitfire is relatively new, so don't have much on that. I was hoping to adjust... That's the one I was looking for. Loadout. Fuel. Ridiculous amount of fuel. We don't need this much fuel. So can we... Can we please lower that? I'm like clicking like a madman. Weapon sets, yes, that's that's fine. However, can I please adjust my fuel? Guns, that's that's great. Um, all this stuff, don't really understand. You could really get into some shit though if you really wanted to. We don't have bombs, so it won't let me adjust fuel. That's that's beautiful. Apparently, I have to fly with 100% tanks. Uh, that's really not what I was hoping for. Um, I don't know if fuel weight is an issue in-game, but I'm pretty sure it should be. Maybe that's not up to me. Maybe they just want me to fly around like a giant overweight gas can. I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, there we go. There it is. Um... I, I have an idea, but I'll try it outside of this mission after the next one, assuming we survive this one. Uh, so anyways, let's let's fly it real quick. I'll be back uh, when we're on the airfield. 
Sorry about that little diversion there. I thought for sure I could change my fuel. What do I know? Alright, well, it looks like they gave us an excessively early morning patrol. Uh, apparently I pissed off the commander because he's making me get up at the butt crack of dawn. Although it's good to know that uh, my other three wingmen are sharing the pain. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, get these, uh, these lights on real quick so I can actually see what I am doing. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and floor it. See if we can't take off. It's good and early and foggy and loud. Oh, okay. Easy, easy plane. Easy. Okay, I guess I'm going this way. Hang on, everybody. Alright. My god, that's loud. Okay. There we go. I think we got everything settled down. I'm not, uh, 100% sure anymore. Let's get the gear up, shall we? My god. That was, uh, that was loud. <laughs> that was very, very loud. Uh, let's go ahead and pull our flaps up. Man, that's, uh, that's some foggy weather down there. I do not envy it. I think from now on I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, take off without, uh, the canopy open because my volume levels are adjusted quite a bit and it would seem that it's just not enough. And if I turn down the, uh, the volume too much more, I notice there's, uh, apparently a bug or some sort of glitch in that, uh, my guns will no longer make a sound. Uh, at a certain part, uh, at a certain point on the volume level. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and circle over our teammates here. Hopefully you can hear me over the engines. This is about as low as I can get them. So they're gonna be about their merry way, hitting those waypoints. I'm going to attempt to do the same thing with them. Try to fly in some semblance of a formation, I suppose. And uh, if we're really lucky, any enemies that we encounter will have mercy upon us, and they won't destroy us immediately. So anyway, let's see if I can't uh, pop this up real quick, because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. There we go. Clickable cockpit. Gotta love it. Alrighty then. So I think, as we wait here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the video until we run into something crazy. So I will see you guys when the shit hits the fan. Till then. Well, I think I understand exactly why they gave us so much fuel. Uh, there's nothing. There is absolutely nothing. There's some coastline. There's some ground down there. Uh, the sun is right there, and we flew into that for, like, ever, so that's that's a fun headache. But, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing nothing. Uh, pretty confident that we'll be coming back alive from this one, which, uh, you know, I was really hoping for some act. There's some 109s. That's not good. We have air targets. Uh, guys. 9 o'clock. Enemies. Okay, what's my temperature look like? Temperature's good. Alright, incoming. Here we go. Hopefully my own flak doesn't shoot me down. Do these guys see me? I don't know if they see me. This, this could be really good for us. This could be great. I can catch up to him, my god. Let's increase our pitch just a little bit on that prop. Try to get right in behind these guys. Come on now. Did that hit him? I don't know, but he's not he doesn't even seem to give a shit. He's like, this guy doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. There's three of us. Okay, there they go. They're breaking. Um, he's breaking that way. I'm going to follow these guys. 
because he just broke towards a bunch of Spitfires, so... Oh, come on. I want me a 109. Ooh. Okay, we got this. We can get this guy. Alright, come on. Oh. Shit, I lost him under the nose. Okay, there he is. He's going back that way. I don't know why I'm suddenly getting shit frame rates. It's because I'm recording and I'm in the middle of action. So everything in the universe wants to fuck me. Okay, I bet he's got a friend somewhere on my ass. There does appear to be somebody back there. Lost sight of my victim. Okay, here we go. Come on. Ah, I gotta watch those negative G's. My engine keeps cutting out because of the fuel flow. Uh, when I pull negative G's, the fuel's being pulled away from the engine, which is really not good. Ah, man. My gunnery in this game sucks really bad. Damn sunshine gonna fuck me over. But he's on my tail still. That's good. Watch this guy come through. Uh, can I get some help? Guys? <laughs> Fellow squadron? I've got some enemies here. Nobody appears to be on my tail, though. Oh, man, they're running away pretty quick. I wonder if they know they're outnumbered. Up there. Got the radiator full open. I prop some. That'll probably help. Don't need to be running it so high. Yeah, and now it appears we're catching up with them. A little worried about my own flak hitting me though how much ammo I may or may not have left. Alright, come on now. Did he just, did he forget about me? Can he not see me back here? I don't know. Let's get up as close as we possibly can and rip into him. If he's going to make himself an easy target, I will take it. I would like the kill. Oh my god, how do you miss that close? That hit him. Okay, let's not lose him now. Uh... There you go. Great. Wondrous. We lost him. Perfect. Exactly what I didn't want to do. And we did. I guess we could follow the flak. way below us. Oh, somebody. Wow, he hit the ground hard. Okay, let's gently pull out of this dive so we don't die. Alrighty. So where'd the rest of them go? Great. I lost him. much ammo left anyway. Okay, seriously. Uh, guys. Hello? Okay, there's one. He's up there. Oh my god, he might be diving in towards me, though. Alrighty then. Let's get ready to suffer this consequence, because I can't really climb that high. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come down here. I'm probably a super easy target. Speaking of which, where's your friends? I've only seen one of them hit the deck so far. Um. OK. 
Okay, it looks as though he's going away from me again. I'm just, like, making myself a sitting duck, spinning around in a circle here. There's some flat no, that's where that other guy ate shit. Okay. I see more flack over there, I think. So what's up that way? What are we shooting at? I hope I at least damaged that one guy. Can't believe I missed. Snuck right up on him. About ripped his tail off, but missed by like centimeters. Oh shit, now I don't see nobody. I don't even see my own squadron. And I lost sight of that other guy again. The joys of having a hat switch. I fucking hate hat switches. <laughs> well then. I guess it's time to head back towards Folkstone. Why did I say Folkstone? I meant Littlestone. Which I think... I've lost sight of, for sure. Let's figure out where the hell we are. Meanwhile, making ourselves... Easy prey. So it appears that I'm right near base. There's two of them out over there. I hate using it. Maybe I should turn off everything but my own plane. But it looks like my squadron's chasing uh, what's left of them out over the channel somewhere over that way. Oh. Oh my, what is that? That is a large formation of something. Let's, uh, let's go take a look. That may or may not be a bad thing. I don't know what it is, but it's a large group of something. I hate to say it, but I might have to turn down some settings, because I noticed for some reason looking over this direction drops me down to about 20-something frames. Recording normally at about 30. Okay, what are those? Those are Spitfires another squadron of Spitfires. They're a different squadron, because I believe we're D-something. Those are QJOT. Right. Oh Well, it looks like I missed out on my chance. That was that. I don't see anybody else. Uh, I might go ahead and just keep looking, but I'll go ahead and recut the... Uh, recut the... Recut the, <laughs> recut the cheese. It's delicious. No. I'll go ahead and cut the recording, I think is what uh, my my brain wanted to say, but my mouth did not cooperate with. Um, just to see if I could stir up just a little bit more trouble, because I'm pretty sure there's still some other enemy groups lurking around here. Uh, see if I can find them, try to engage them. I probably don't have a lot of ammo left anyway. Go ahead and just work on doing that, though, and then if, uh, if I get into some trouble, I'll start the recording again. So I will see you guys in a little while. Alright, I thought so. Here comes uh, another squadron of uh, pain right at this exact moment. I think they spotted me, and they're here to fuck my day up. Somebody's shooting at somebody. That's not good. Oh boy. I don't really know how to handle this situation. There goes those guys. I don't want to turn too far into them, though, because these guys will come and beat the shit out of me. So unless those guys are going to circle around on me. Which I'm sure they will. Okay. Some 109s here. Of course, they're just out of reach. Alright, come on, guys. Let's see if I can just increase. My prop pitch just a little bit it needs to go up, I think. Make sure there's no one else on my ass. Okay. Good. Can't catch these guys though. My God, they're going fast. Temperature's doing okay, I suppose. Let's see if I can close up the radiator just a little bit, just to give myself a little bit more aerodynamic nasty. <laughs> and uh, yeah. 
I catch them? That is the question. I would really very much like to get a 109 kill. Uh, especially on camera, that'd be great. be really great. It'd be beyond great, that'd be outstanding. Uh, da -da -da. Come on, guys. Please let me catch you. What are they fighting? I keep seeing tracers, I swear. Maybe I'm just seeing the, uh... The flak shooting at him. Okay, here we go, though. See if I can give me one. them noticing. I'm just going to do a really fast pass. My gunnery in this game, for whatever reason, sucks terribly, though. So I doubt very much that I'll be able to. But I would like to try really hard. I'm going to get as close as I possibly can, and then just squeeze the trigger without them noticing. Fuck. I think I got one, though. Somehow. Or another. Okay. There went that guy. Let's see if we can get him real quick. Damn it. Okay. All his friends are converging on me right now, though. I can almost guarantee it, yep. So let's see if we can swing back and confuse him. Let's, uh, let's open up our radiator while we're at it, too, so we don't pop our engine. Alright. I see you back there trying to get me. Okay then, they appear to just be running at this point, which makes me wonder why they're flying straight and level. There might be another guy behind me, perhaps? I'm not sure. They're running fast, though. What's my temp doing? The temperature's good. Alright, come on. out there. I swear I see tracers like every couple of minutes. I don't know. I could just be weird. And I am not gaining on these guys whatsoever. Yeah, yeah they'll just drag me straight into, uh, their home turf. Well, I tried. I at least engaged with a few of them. So now it's just going to be a long flight back to Littlestone. Unless maybe they're waiting for me to turn around. Is that flak from there again? Wow, yeah, I almost crossed straight over into France. That would have been a bad idea, I think. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll be back when I'm uh, landing at uh, Littlestone. So, I will see you guys then. In fact, I think I see the runways. Cutting out. Hang on, engine. Don't you do that number on me. What 
that's your issue, engine. Yeah, I just need to give it more gas. Mixture's up as high as I want it to be. Alright, will ground control actually talk to me this time? I would really like to request a landing. Nope, negative. Well, guess what? I'm gonna land anyway, so... Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'd open the cockpit, but uh, here, I'll let you listen. Holy shit, right? Fuck that noise. So, <laughs> literally. Fuck that noise. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get our gear down. Should be in transit. Wait for our green light. We're also going to apply flaps here. Here. Go down. There it is. There's the green light I was looking for. Let's see if we can't follow this guy in on final. Watch yourself, buddy. Is he landing? Yeah, I think he is. Good. Might actually have to close up the radiator just a little bit. Just because I think it's getting too cold at this point. Yeah, we're just going to follow him straight in. Probably a bad idea. Don't want to crash into him on the ground. But, you know, it's me. When have I ever done something that could be considered a good idea. I'll just fly past him, hopefully. Yeah, sorry. Buzzy on the ground there. Oh, jeez. Oof. Yeah, that was a very bouncy landing. Still bouncing. I broke a propeller. Ah, shit. There we go. My god. That was my impression of a kangaroo, everybody. That was probably the worst landing I've ever seen. I'm sorry. Well, the good news is, is I stopped down right quick. Uh, well, it's only a propeller that needs to be fixed, right? I think that would end this mission. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at that after-action report, shall we? Alright. Um... Apparently I shot down three 109s, and uh, we lost, oh my god, we lost a lot of people. That's, uh, that's not good. Wow, we lost one, two, three, four of our people are no longer going to be part of the 610 squadron, so we lost four planes and I damaged another. That's five planes out of action. But uh, apparently I got uh, I got three kills. How did I get those guys? Maybe I really was hitting them. It just didn't seem like it. No, that's aircraft destroyed. <laughs> I got one, which still shocks me. But hey, I, I got me a 109. I don't know how. Um, maybe they counted that guy that hit the ground near me. I don't know how that works. But there it is. Another successful mission. Well done. Thank you. We'll go ahead and save. And thank you guys for joining me. This has been Zombly with another episode of Iltu Sturmovic Cliffs of Dover. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the after-action report.